Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. Now this episode we should be taking on the first gym leader. Although the one thing I do want to do is I want to see if I can find any of these special Pokemon that occur during some of the... Well there are, there are special Pokemon that only appear certain times of the day and I want to see if I can't find any of them. <laughs> I didn't. I don't think I read what he said. In my younger days, I stood here and looked across Azurine Lake, named such for its brilliant blue hue. So what is this? The shit brown lake? That's a nice. I like that guy. <laughs> but yeah, I want to see if I can't find one of the special Pokemon that appear. Because yeah, there are certain Pokemon that only appear certain times of the day in certain locations in this game. And I did see a Teddy Ursa before, but I didn't have Pokey Snacks in order to catch it, unfortunately. Uh, and unfortunately, the Blitzel didn't reappear over here, because there was a Blitzel that one day, the first day I played the game. But he has yet to reappear. Uh, where the hell was that Teddy Ursa? I think, okay, it must have been close to the entrance to the one factory. I know that much. I don't know if it'll even reappear, though, is the problem. Yeah, as nice as it might be to have a Teddy Ursa, I don't think it's really worth trying to find it, so I'll just give up. And like I said, we need to take on the gym leader. I don't want to just be wandering around for hours. Oh, yeah, too high. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've gone into all the buildings as well. Okay, I already talked to this guy. Here we go. Hey there, so I see you've made it to the gym. Whoops. Accidentally just opened up the windows, whatever the hell it's called. Start screen, okay. Hey there, so I see you've made it to the gym. Whoops. Oh yeah, that exited me out of the game too. All right, this telecom system connects right to the Grand Hall, so no matter where you are, oh, so no matter where you are, so whenever that, okay. Yeah, some of the grammar in this game is a bit messed up, but it's not the worst. So no matter where you are, so whenever you get to a gym, you can call in for advice. Anyway, this is your first gym battle in Reborn, right? Reborn's gym leaders are a little tougher than other reasons. For instance, every gym leader has a full set of Pokemon. Not only that, but they also use special arenas called field effects for tactical advantages. If you want to survive in Reborn, you should get used to learning about and playing in these fields. You may even find ways to turn some opponent's arenas against them. As for Julia, her electric field will make all of her same type attacks even stronger and add a jolt to some other attacks like her explosions. It's standard fare, but if you have something that can tank electric attacks, you're almost home free. Failing that, your best bet is to come in with a full team and hopefully some high HP Pokemon to take the hits while you whittle her down. Good luck. I remember this one, I remember her not being that hard, and I think when I last played I had a Braxen, I think is what it's called. Braxen, Braxen, I don't know. So I shouldn't have any problems this time around. Careful or everything will blow up in your face. And these guys are pretty weak as well, at least the trainers are. I think as long as my Trubbish and my... Although Trubbish is kind of useless, I think, until he evolves, which is kind of a disadvantage for us. Or at least he's kind of useless now. I don't know what he'll be. Yeah, now he's starting to get a bit more stats, as you can see, because before, until I think like the last level, he was basically getting a bunch of plus zeros, which isn't really useful. <laughs> Ooh, Sludge. This is useful. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of Recycle. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Recycle. Not very useful. Voltol. Yeah, this should be very helpful. There we go. Yeah, that does much more damage now. Can I actually two hit them. 
Kaboom! You're dynamite! Bzzz. Voltorb seems to want to follow you, it's burning with energy. So yeah, the one thing I also like about this gym, or I shouldn't say this gym. Oh yeah, he blows up those. Yeah, the one thing I like about this game, this game's gyms, is that they actually put in effort to have like a, a unique little, I guess, puzzle before the gym, just like a lot of the other Pokemon games do. And I really like that added effort, because I feel like a lot of other fan games, it would take a lot of effort into putting like a puzzle in and everything, so they just don't bother. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of Igglybuff, just because I don't know if we get our if we start getting our asses kicked, all Igglybuff will do is make it take a little bit longer for us to get completely wiped out. All right. It's absurd how she allows civilians into the power plant. Machines of water in the black. Black round? <laughs> no, background. Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. I think Sludge has a higher chance of poisoning the enemy than what we had before. Acid spray. I'm not sure about that, but I think that's the case. Cotton Spore. For some reason I always thought Cotton Spore paralyzed you, but every time when I actually have it attack me, I get surprised. I suppose it's the price we pay for saving up, or for saving city space by turning the plant into a gym. Still absurd, though. Alright, so yeah, we just have to bring these guys to the gate and they'll blow it up. Yeah, so as you can see, this isn't exactly the most complex gym, but... It's still a neat little puzzle. I'm looking for a badge, you'll have to get through me first. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the gym leaders Pokemon aren't really high level either. I'm not 100% certain, but I don't. I think only one of them is actually level 20. Fortunately, Toxic Spikes should be quite useful for us. Because it'll help us whittle away a bit of HP. Oh, and Paralyzation. Okay, all I saw was the word shit there. I didn't bother reading. <laughs> Might as well get through these last couple trainers. Or I guess last trainer. Everyone here is so violent, you know? There are switches to the gates in the back. <laughs> well, I can't reach the back, so... That's not helpful. Tynamo. Guessing that's a water electric type, but I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Sludge is quite a good move. At least that seems to be the case so far. Well, that's gonna hurt, probably. Oh no, didn't hurt that bad. Ah, oh, darn paralyzation. Tch. So one thing I don't know if I've mentioned yet, I think I mentioned this in a completely different video that I've made, not Pokemon related, is I swear in every Pokemon game I've ever played, Although, like, I, I know the stats for a lot of moves. Like, I, I'm pretty sure when you're confused, it's like a 50-50 shot. And what else? I'm pretty sure when, you know, a lot of moves like that. I swear, even though the percentages, you know, are pretty, I think, well-known, I swear every time I play any Pokemon game, the odds are always against me. Like, it seems when it comes to confusion, for example, it's always more like 90-10 than it is 50-50, or... Same with moves like Paralyzation. I think there's a 50-50 shot of the status affecting you when it comes to Paralyzation. Yet I swear it always happens, like, more like, you know, 80-20 than it does 50-50. Same with catch rates. I feel like even when there's like a 10% chance of catching a Pokemon, it takes me 20 Pokeballs as opposed to just 10. You know? 
And yeah, I know that when you when something's a 10% chance, that doesn't mean if you throw 10, you're guaranteed to get it. But it means if you throw 10, there's a pretty damn good chance that you should be getting it. <laughs> but yeah, I swear, in every Pokemon game, that always freaking happens to me. Ooh, got like a nice disco-looking floor. And then a big kaboom at the top. All right. I was hoping there was more trainers so I could actually get Combuskin leveled up a bit, but whatever. I don't think she's, like I said, I don't think she's that tough. And if she is, then I could just grind off screen or something. <laughs> hi, hi, Hunter. Welcome to the Super Duper Ultra Hyper Electro Dazzle Happy Boom Time House of Cheer. And uh, just ignore all the super land machinery junk. I need more banners and streamers and fireworks. Wait, is that a safety hazard? Oh, who cares? Anyway, don't think I'll go easy on you just because he helped us out earlier. I have pride to uphold as former captain cheerleader, the Onyx Trainers School's honor depends on me. Oh, it's yes, we represent. We pack a punch and don't relent. Oh my god, I don't like her. <laughs> I especially don't like reading her shit because it's just a bit of a mouthful. Okay, but all right, all right, all right, I'm wired, so let's fight. She does look like she'd be in a whatever, not fraternity, the other word. Sorority. Yeah, as you can see, her first Pokemon's pretty damn weak. Is Helio? I don't think... I guess we'll find out. Okay, now. Because everything I thought Helio... Helio... Heliotile? Hel Helioptile? I don't know how to pronounce that. But for some reason I thought it looked like it might be a ground type. But no. Helioptile, maybe? That probably makes more sense. It doesn't matter, though. Yeah, as you can see, her. Oh, wait, was I using acid spray? That was stupid. There we go. Yeah, as you can see, we're not having any problems here. As of yet. Should be getting too cocky. Oh, what? Why didn't I use these either? I guess I didn't really need them. I'm gonna do that now. Goodbye, Trubbish. Alright, Combuskin should be able to handle things. I'm Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try Zigzagoon, because I mean, the Voltorb's only level 12. Let's see how this goes. Probably gonna get. Yeah, Zigzagoon's probably gonna get his ass kicked, but. Might as well try and find out. Eh, if Zigzagoon was just a bit quicker, we'd be able to do it. Oh wait, that might help us out actually, depending. Hmm, probably not though. Jesus, you want to calm down with the potion, potion usage there? Oh, well, that's fine with me too. Well, except for the, except for the fact that my, uh, I don't get any experience. That's a bit troublesome. Alright, in this... Yeah, we shouldn't have too much trouble, I don't think. With her last few Pokemon. She only has two left. Ugh, that's annoying. There we go, level up. Yeah, and she just has a Blitzel. Ooh, and it's poison. And I'm not even gonna bother trying to use a Paralyzed Heal. Ugh, of course, though. I bet, I'm betting I'm gonna get paralyzed like three times in a row. Ha! Huh. Never mind. Oh wow. Yeah, that was pretty easy. And then we got an electrode. Don't go boom, don't go boom, don't go boom. Uh huh. Wish we had a revive. I wonder if she's. She'll actually. Huh. I'm really curious as to whether or not she might use Explosion. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, I'm gonna use a... Yeah, I'm gonna use the Super Potion. Hmm. Should I risk using a... Ah, oh, I'm just gonna go for it. Jesus, how did that happen? Oh, it must be because of his special attack. Fuck. Well, that's shit. 
So I guess a paralyzed heal wouldn't really help me there either. Oh shit, I was just about to say, wow, I did it in one try. And I was gonna say how, oh, I was, I've been hyping up how hard these gym leaders are, but that was easy. But the one thing I've noticed is that I've noticed most of the gym leaders in this game too, now that I think about it. Five of their Pokemon are pretty mediocre, but then they've got this one that just annihilates you. And I mean, Electrode, that wasn't exactly the best Pokemon she could have had, but it obviously had some very good moves, and it obviously had that... The, the other thing that's difficult is this field advantage thing. I believe that actually doubles the power, or maybe it... I think it... I don't know if it doubles it, but I'm pretty sure... The field thing, it makes their attacks, I think, one and a half times stronger. So that's pretty considerable. And I'm almost... I don't know why, but I'm thinking it's like a, it's two times stronger. <laughs> and I like how she... Oh, I should have read that. Yeah, they say a little cocky, snarky comment if you lose against them. I like how he even calls her Cheer Captain. Toxic Spite Slayer. Let's use these right away. I'm gonna be a bit more tactical here too. I'm gonna send out my Combuskin because I think I think my Combuskin is still faster. Although I don't know about that. Like yeah, my Combuskin should be faster, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to two-shot most of her Pokemon. Oh, I forgot Voltorb does that stupid aftermath shit. But yeah, I want to keep all my Pokemon relatively healed because then I can try to peck away at that Electrode. Jesus, that was a... Didn't know that was super effective. Didn't even know that Pokemon had that attack, but god damn it. This is going worse than the first battle. <laughs> Everything's gone wrong. Oh yeah, and I guess a Mulga flies too, so that doesn't help. Yeah, I guess I should have kept Trubbish out for the Emolga. But there was really no way I could have told that her Emolga had, um... Whatever the, whatever the hell it's called. Acrobatics. There was really no way I could have figured that out unless I did a bunch of research or something. And that isn't exactly fun. Damn it, you couldn't have taken him out. You had to actually be lucky enough to get, not, to get a critical hit. And another one, but of course, it's when it doesn't actually matter. Ah, fuck. But yeah, as you can see, these for a, for the first gym leader, this is much stronger than I think any other gym leader is. Like, like I feel like this gym leader is probably stronger than like the first three gym leaders in most Pokemon games. Yeah, let's actually use a potion. Didn't really help. Unless I wanted to just keep using potions until I eventually whittled away Voltorb's health. That wouldn't really help. Ah, fudge cakes. I think I'm screwed again. I can try using Zigzagoon as more of a, I don't know, buffer, I guess. I guess I'll use one of these. Hopefully I don't have to use more. I actually might just end up reloading my save, too. <laughs> just so I don't have all these wasted items. I mean, normally I wouldn't care, but as you've seen... Money is a commodity in this game. Or I shouldn't say just money, but items in general are a commodity. They're not quite as easy to get. Okay, go ahead and kill yourself. That's fine with me. Well, that didn't go how I wanted to go. I wanted to have at least one Pokemon left so I could whittle down the electrode, but it appears that's not going to be happening. Oh, I might get to level 20, actually. Ah. Oh. Close, but no cigar. At least I'm not paralyzed, though. That should help. Jesus, and a critical hit. Thanks, game. You're lovely to me. Now he has higher special attacks, so he's going to kick my ass. <sighs> if only... Yeah, it sucks that electrodes are so damn quick. Jesus. 
I'm just gonna have to keep using potions and hope. I don't know. I don't think I'm. I don't think I have a chance here. Oh, he missed. Praise Jesus. Come on, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you, yes, there we go. Oh shit, never mind. Did I lose? I think I lost. Ha! <laughs> Fuck you, game. That's really annoying. And yeah, I've also reached my 20 minute mark, so damn it. Next time, hopefully I beat her. So yeah. Hope to see you all next time. And hopefully I don't get freaking killed by the aftermath again. Because I can see that being an annoyance. Yeah, bye bye